Hey, everybody. <clears throat> a little cold this morning, so you see me with a scarf on. Wife and I just came back inside. We went outside because it's uh, 7.30 in the morning. And there was a full rainbow and a completely pink sky, blue and just pink sky with a slight sprinkle. It was like this picture. Perfect. Beautiful. Okay, so we're going to look at um, a nine dawn game. This is my favorite YouTube guy, Dr. Baduk. Uh, this is his level up series where he starts his three dawn because you can't start higher and he works his way up to nine dawn. We get to see him playing different level players. Now, here he's playing against the three dawn, and you see, and we saw some of this last, uh, we've done this another game against the three dawn recently. He just completely outplays them. But again, we get to see what are three dons thinking about? What are they missing? How do you punish three don mistakes? These kinds of things, which I think are very important. Okay, we're the Blackstones. Normal. Okay, a couple ideas. He does this all the time. So I've I've done I've been doing this all the time myself as a way to learn it. Uh, let's just look at something while we're here. It's you may or may not, you know, this idea of play strong, don't get cut. Well, what about the cut here? Well, it's a ladder. Not only that, but white's awfully weak to be trying to cut us. So my only point is this is a strong move in numerous ways. Can't be cut. And white's too weak to do anything anyway. Now the ladder doesn't work. Now the net works. We prefer nets because ladder, he gets an entire move for free and then another move. So we prefer nets here and now we have a net. If white were to play here, Black has that three in a row is not enough shape, so the net no longer works. I won't play it out, so we need to play again. In the game, white jumped, so the net still works. Okay, it's fairly obvious, but maybe you haven't seen it before. Here, I tend to wonder, should I press again today? It's sent it. Once it is, shall I just jump out? We'll look at that. Oh, oh, oh. My group is way out. I have things like this. Uh, you know, so that's one way to go. Another way, forget the whole thing. Black is perfectly fine. If he presses, there's really nothing white can do about it, right? Black's fine. Uh, another thing is just pinch. Use your wall as an attacking force. This has always seemed strange to me before AI because I don't consider the A wall much of a attacking wall. White's ahead of us at B and we have a cut at C. But more and more AI is showing us, no, it's perfectly fine. Great wall. A little hard for me to grasp sometimes. White keeps. First, what is white attempting to do? Get his group out. Okay. Uh, lots of ways of getting out. Why is he choosing this way? Notice he's running into the black wall. Why? Well, there's a cut there. Okay, that makes sense, except when black fixes, it's kind of sente because this next move is big, meaningful. All the cuts start working. So we can see what white's thinking. Get out, attack black. 
but given this context not we have no right to be even think about attacking it's for five to one in black's favor we're not going to win any local fight so just uh running out if you want to touch something you could perhaps uh play this way And now white's is the black's is tip. So you can lean on one side to hit the other. Okay, th th that's a plan. So this white move isn't great. Black defends. Uh, white should be defending. This is a really big move because it turns black into a stick, takes the corner, and strengthens white's position, which the cuts are quite meaningful. Play away a counterattack. Check it out. White's A group uh, getting downright funky. His B group completely funky. And from that position, he wants to attack. We're kind of seeing a regular old three dawn idea here. Uh, I always t I, I tend to think of three dawns as fancy one dawns. It's like yeah. They got some of the basics down, and they're just trying all a bunch of stuff. Let's try this attack. Let's go over here. And it works against one dons, two dons, even three dons, four don on up. You don't have a chance. Okay. So counterattack, no good. So now, let's check this out. White just attacked his A stone. Defending is a nice two-purpose move. Defend the stone, start attacking white, the white that's inside black here, the A group. Good plan. Well, what other plan is there? Well, the A stone, just the stone. Over here, we have a B group with a whole bunch of weaknesses. So that's way more in up front, way more uh, important. Boom. Sente. 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 And then come out. So that timing, you generally learn starting at four dawn, is how to take care of all the business at once. You know, I've known five dons that are terrible, and I've known three cues that are real good. So speaking in generalities, when I talk about how weak this, you know, three don is or something like that, but that's just generally how I see them. Okay. You know, I would be really tempted as black to play A, because next move, you're cut, period. We'll just look at that. If white doesn't do anything, you're either over or under. So it's a threat to kill. So white fixes, and you're like all over him. So it's interesting to me. I mean, I would play here too. But the question, why? Well, because the area Black suggesting is just too darn small. He has a wall all, all the way up to A, which is four, five, seven lines high, and you want to take this area on the left? You're wasting an entire area on the right side of that perimeter was just too small. I, to me, it's good to see these things. That's why black comes out, in my opinion. The peep. When do we peep? When we need to. Because it strengthens your opponent, right? We're just about to make black stronger. Well, so you're peeping here in order to do what? Let's see what white's move is. 
really? This is not even an outside move. He's saying, please, please, oh, won't you surround me? That's crazy talk. That's, I mean, I don't want to be rude to the three Don player. Luckily, we don't know who he is, but this is not worthy of three Don. This push, pushing from behind when you're not even alive. You must get out. Stop that. Go back as fast as possible. Can you get out? Can you get out this fast? Yeah. Just get out fast as you can. You're in trouble. Now, if we imagine that the whole A to B is one unit. Now, it's a little thin, and maybe we're going to get cut and give up a tail. And that's fine. But let's imagine that this is an actual wall. Well, then the C group is not so great. And the D group, about to get surrounded, and not necessarily alive. And by the way, there's a co here and stuff. I guess the code doesn't work, so never mind. So really lacking here. Honey to surround? Honey to surround, why not? Well, what about your own group? You're getting surrounded. Well, twice the one on death's door. Black has this run while attacking uh black's got uh all these running moves black has far more freedom than white does so that's why he doesn't mind leaving behind a weakness because it's just he's so in front of the fight here surround that's an interesting surround white can't get out but black surrounds anyway isn't that interesting? Why? Well, let's say black goes for the kill. Why? Oh, we'll just go this way. Uh, Tari. 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 Oh, so there is it out here. And black's corner's now in question. Let's say even this didn't work for white. Still, black has the A group, which is not settled the b group is cut off the c group's cut off it's a weak position so this let's say oh now white's dead i'm sorry let's say now white is actually dead still don't play it how come white's dead because it's weak this cuts everywhere later on in 75 moves when you don't have time to play here you have to play here and all of a sudden white gets out and everything changes no oh, play strong boom nice strong move thick you can use this black wall the entire game we don't care if white lives come on down notice the black honey is gote no reason to be giving white sente like that just come straight down and fix. Do you think maybe we can kill white? Doesn't matter. If we go, let's say this kills. Well, now it's liberty race. And now let's say it works for black, right? We're just saying it works for black. We're making this up as we go. Look what white's getting on the outside thickness and it's going to be sente and on this board black uh, white won it but i was a mad let's i'm just doing a fantasy board where black does kill but white sacrifices and gets the outside and sente so play strong is the whole point strong now look at the right look at the center we don't care if white lives we want white to live. Please live. That means they get another move on the outside. And there it is. So, 
uh, there's a pattern here, which I can't tell you how many times I've done it. I want to use the word countless. I've done it so many times, it feels like I'm doing it blindfolded. I mentioned this a couple of videos ago. It's like you can do it with your eyes closed. Step one, surround A. Of course, what A lives, but that gives you thickness. Step two, surround B. Step three, there's going to be another group soon. Surround that one, then surround that one. And white ends up with five points in area one, three points in area two, two points in area three. Ends up with a whole board, 15 points, and you have gobs everywhere. It just happens every time. So here we go for the surround. Thank you. Surrounding move. He did not say, I want to live in your corner and take your points away. No, surround is way more valuable. Come on down. Sorry. Fix. Surround. Sorry. Surround the whole group. Whites, a group lived. The point wasn't about killing. Check out this black wall. I want to put a mark on every line because it is so darn impressive. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16 lines high, extremely thick. That is so go game over, it's ridiculous. Okay, a little further. White tries to live. Go for the surround. Stop him from the corner. Start surrounding. Oh, thank you for living. Go ahead. Please live. Please live. Chase for the night. So look at the center developing naturally. Has Black attempted to get even one point in the center? No. How many points is he going to get in the center? A million. Okay. Boom. Boom. And just cut. Why not? Boom. Boom. Double Atari, Atari. Surrounded. White surrounded down there. White has to worry about life. Now we're going to surround those two white stones. We're going to surround those P2 stones. This is uh, one thing fun about this co. So uh, white starts co, black captures, co-threat, kill. I get to recapture, no problem. I don't have to find a co-threat. Atari, take. Co-threat, kill. Oh, I took back, no problem. I don't have to find a co-threat. That's, that's the, what's fun about these co's. Boom, take, boom. White has used up all his co threats already. Capture. And white's not alive on the bottom. Now we're going to go surround this group. Nice surrounding move. Killing move. Strengthen black's position. And next, uh, now black can connect under. Black can take the eye away. And so white has zero eyes in a sea of thick black stones. And, oh, now he's trying to live on the, on the bottom. Start the surround. Start the surround. Pat, regular pattern. Go for the surround. Remember, white doesn't even have an eye here. There's the center points that he did not try in the slightest to get. Just falling into your lap because you're chasing white. This is why we don't want to have weak groups. He gets to chase us and get profit for free. Look at all that profit. And now he's trying to take that away. <clears throat> all standard stuff. White tries to live. And white dies there. This actually saves the cut. Right now, white can't cut anything.
Start surrounding the center again. Surround the center and the top. Every black surrounding everything. So that's all I wanted to show in this game. The power of when he plays weak, surround. That leads to another group. That leads to another group. That, I mean, it's this domino effect. It's just a pattern. Boom, but just play it out. Pattern, pattern, pattern. And of course, Black wins easily. Now, he's the much stronger player he's supposed to, but it's nice to see how he does it. Okay, everybody. Hope that was meaningful. Catch y'all later. Bye.